Good morning, it's me. I'm back. Sorry I'm a little late. <laughs> um, I am Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm so excited to be with you today. Um, I come to you live every Wednesday morning, 10.30 a.m., and you can find me here on my business page at uh, Stampin' No, I don't know why I say that. Hi, Debbie! Uh, it is facebook.com slash dazzled by stamping and you can find me on my website anytime um, at dazzled by stamping.com uh, I'm so excited to see all of you popping on that makes me happy tell me hi because sometimes I can't always see when you're here but I see Carrie and Debbie two Debbies right now and Sherry I'm so glad that you're here uh, so how is your morning going I'm excited good morning Sherry um, and Debbie I'm uh, so glad that you're here I have the windows open <laughs> my husband's the one that decides that he's like open up the windows in the morning I actually did that before I went to bed <laughs> you don't want to know how late I stay up I'm it's ridiculous I've said that many times probably hello Marsha I'm glad that you're here um, thank you for sharing already. I haven't even gotten into all my stuff, so I'm glad that you're sharing and you have confidence in me. <laughs> I, I don't always have confidence in me. Uh, um, yes, I love you to share, um, and you know that when you share and like and comment, um, then you are entered for my drawing every week for, um, for what I made today. So, um, thank you for sharing. That makes me happy. And no, Marsha, I didn't get it out in the mail yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am horrible getting to the post office. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's just been crazy weird or something. I don't know. But I have two ready for you. <laughs> um, the second one isn't so late because I, I just announced it on Monday. So, anyway. Okay, so... I don't know that I have any have any stories for you. Um, I'm trying to be patient. <laughs> Thank you, Marsha. Pretty much you have to be patient for a friend like me. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I have two exciting things going on right now. Yesterday was Todd's birthday, so we had a good day. I made him a yummy dinner. Um, I got my coffee and I'm all set. Good for you. Um, I don't drink coffee, so um, sometimes that would be, I feel like that would be a good thing, but I don't like the taste of it. Um, my sister is one of those that she would get a coffee drink and she likes it all chocolatey and caramelly and whatever. And I believed her for a couple of times. She would say, just try it. You barely can taste the coffee. <laughs> Finally, after like two or three times of her doing that, I'm like, no, I don't like coffee and you do. <laughs> I still can taste it. I'm not trying anything more. Uh, crazy. Okay, so yesterday was Todd's birthday. I made him a yummy dinner that he requested. It makes me so happy. He goes, this meal just makes me happy. I'm like, well, I like making you happy, so that's good. Um, and you just can't stop raving over it. So I, that always makes me happy. When people like my food, that makes me happy. I don't always enjoy cooking. I don't do a good job of of um like cooking on a daily basis but I like making special meals and and I like cooking and baking every now and then I just hate the cleanup Ugh, don't like it at all um so that was one thing the other thing is Tyler is moving into an apartment um Marsha I made shrimp scampi um we watch a few different shows on Food Network and we saw one one time that looked really easy um and yeah it's delicious it's not I don't think it's typical what I think of shrimp scampi um like I always think of lots of butter and garlic and I feel like it needs more garlic or it needs to be simmering in it more or something I don't know my mom always told me it's an acquired taste coffee I don't want to acquire it <laughs> you know I love the smell of it though I just don't like the taste um so Anyway, so the, the shrimp scampi was delicious. But it's different. It's got Worcestershire in the morning. Hi, Alexa. Um, did I say Worcestershire in the morning? <laughs> I read Alexa's good morning. <laughs> Hi, Dina. Oh, I'm so happy to have you all here. I love it. 
All right, so the other thing I said was Tyler, or I was started to say, Tyler is um, moving into an apartment. He got the keys on Monday. Um, we got to see it yesterday, and we brought some things over. And sorry, the wind from my fan is just making my uh, my camera. Oh, that sounds horrible, Debbie. <laughs> um, uh, black, just that. I would be the one, like, have a little coffee with your milk kind of person if I ever drank it. Um, anyway, so back to Tyler's, uh, the big stuff is moving on Saturday, um, but his apartment's really cool, and he's so excited and so proud, and he's been saving money, so he bought new furniture, and it looks pretty sharp, so, um, maybe I'll have to show you a couple pictures that, that, um, he sent me, maybe I'll do that on my blog or something, or, I don't know, maybe on Facebook, um, but yeah, he's really excited. He moved in with a friend and um, they, the where their apartment is is kind of halfway for both of their works and so they're both really excited. So, oh, Judy Cole is on. How are you up this early this in the morning? Oh my goodness, she's in Alaska. Oh, hazelnut flavored, that always smells really good. Um, that doesn't sound black to me. Well, I guess it is black, but I always picture, um, I always picture like really light coffee when I picture hazelnut. Anyway, okay, enough of this extra stuff. So I'm so happy that you're all here. And I decided that I wanted to share with you a stamp set. Um, I think I got it in my, well, I don't know when I got it. I don't know that it was with my first order of stuff, but it's, um, it's called Butterfly Wishes. And sometimes I know people say, and I think, and whatever, like, I don't know that I need another butterfly set, but, excuse me, I don't know, there's just something about this that's so pretty, and I love the sayings with it. There's a couple different sayings in here. Well, it, they're all just good, but, okay, so the first one that spoke to me was, it was a perfect day because of you. I love that. And then another one is, a sweet friendship refreshes the soul. I'm going to use that too. I'm going to do two cards today. I hope I have time or it doesn't take too long because I'm being kind of gabby all of a sudden. I didn't think I had any stories. <laughs> um, and then another one is love to celebrate you. I just think, uh, thanks for sharing already. You say that it was a perfect day because of you or what did you, I don't know what you say, Alexa. Um, um, so anyway, this is just um, a really pretty set. And it doesn't come with um, any, it's not bundled with anything, it's just by itself. But um, I think, oops, wrong side. It's backwards and I, I still don't know it. This one um, coordinates with the um, butterfly punch that we have, the dual. So probably this one does too, this little one does too. Um, oh, there you have enough butterflies. <laughs> I know, I have a couple sets already, I think, but. Um, I don't know. This one's just so pretty. So I'm going to talk you into this one, Alexa. You let me know if that happens. Okay, so I'm making um, a couple pretty simple cards. There's big shotting on both of them, but I still think that they're kind of simple. Um, and I already did the big shotting, so it'll look like super easy. Um, but it's nothing completely hard anyway. So I'm using the stamp set Butterfly Wishes. And I'm using, um, this is Subtle's designer paper. And I don't know if you guys have seen this. So you probably all know, I'm gonna fan this out a little bit while I'm talking. Um, you probably all know um, or realize or whatever that the Gingham Gala designer paper retired. But um, you may or may not know that Stampin' Up! Um, uh, they changed the color collection, color collections of designer paper, um, so that one of the designs in there for every color collection, so both the both of the in colors, and then the four core color families like subtles. That's what I'm using today, um, or regals, brights, whatever. Um, they have a design that is the gingham. So I'm going to fan it out a little bit for you. So here is the subtles. So here's gingham. 
Uh, and this is what's on back. And then there is a script one. I don't know if that's upside down or not. It's probably upside down. There's a script one. And then this, I forgot what that design is called. Anybody know what that design in general is called? Anyway, so uh, in a full color family, you're only going to get two gingham out of each color. Um, but in the in color families, um, because they're both half sets, you know, there's only five colors in each color, in color, color family, um, you're going to get four of each design. So um, anyway, I love the gingham and um, I'm using it today. And so these don't fly away. I'm going to try to put this back in if I can do it on camera. Everything's always harder on camera. I don't know if you know that or not, but it is. Ha! It's in! Yay! Okay, so those are the two main things that I'm um, using on my card. And um, I am going to use the Big Shot on part... Not Big Shot, that's not what I mean to say. I'm not supposed to say that. I'm using the Stamparatus um, on part of the card because I want um, my words to be dark. On the sample that I made, um, I first tried it, well, I'll tell you when I get there. Anyway, I'm using the Stamparatus because I want my words to be really dark, so, um, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put you down. Remember, when I put you down to do my stamping, I can't see your comments. I, I don't usually, yeah, with the way that I do it now, I don't even see that comments are going across, so... Um, feel free to ask questions though or comment or whatever and I always get back to you later so um, and it takes me a minute to figure this out okay so I need my settings and I need to unflip you that way and I'm pulling you down and flipping you upside down so now now you can read when I just have it normal okay all right so I told you already, just in case anybody just caught on, um, I'm using Butterfly Wishes, and I'm making a couple um, pretty easy cards. So I'm starting with um, a white card base, and I have, I have black on here. I'm hoping that this will help you see what I'm doing rather than white on white. Um, so I'm using Balmy Blue. I still always want to call it Bashful Blue because there was one that was similar color um, years ago. All right, did I clean this? Yeah. Okay, so I'm using, um, now I just c confused myself, balmy blue. <laughs> oh my goodness, don't cause problems for yourself. Okay, so I'm stamping it a couple times. One thing I wanted to show you about this, um, about this card, or about this stamp, I first thought there was a mistake um, when I inked it and stamped it, and there's not. If you look closely at the stamp itself, um, it's got this little splotchy thing. It's it's just a way to make it look more natural, more like a real flower. So that little splotch, well, the, the little ones made sense to me, but this big one here made me like, oh, what's wrong with my stamp? But that's the way that it's designed. So don't worry about it when it happens on yours, okay? So um, I'm stamping randomly on here and I'm stamping twice. I'm making it up once and stamping twice. Um, so I have a variation of colors here. Hmm, where do I want more? What I try to do, this doesn't always happen, what I try to do is if I go off, I should show you closer, if I go off my page, I try to make sure that that same section goes off my page when I stamp the second time. Because when it doesn't look what happens to, can you see this flower right here? It's got this little edge right here that wasn't stamped because I had stamped off. So I always try to be careful with that. But anyway, but there's enough on here that it's not really going to be noticed. So here's all the flowers that I'm going to do. I don't think I, oh I did do dark ones. Okay. so. Now I'm just going to, um, I'm not going to clean it because I'm using similar colors and I started with light and I'm going to dark. So I'm done with Balmy Blue and I'm using Blueberry Bushel. This is one of the 
older of the two sets of in colors. So I'm going to ink this up and kind of go randomly throughout again and do the same thing. So I stamped off there, so I kind of need to go off on that same spot. Hmm. All right, so here's my background. So this obviously is just Whisper White cardstock, and I'm just adding my flowers on here. And now I want to add a few of the butterflies. There's th there's four butterflies in here. I guess I didn't grab the littlest one. So I have this big one. It looks like a monarch, but I'm not worrying about colors. Do you guys worry about colors when you stamp? Like, when it's a real life thing, I sometimes feel like I'm not supposed to stamp in that color, but I'm gonna. I'm, I'm using it in blueberry bushel. Um... And I've seen the really pretty turquoise butterfly. I don't remember what those are called, but um, those are, we saw them at a butterfly garden in, when we went to Victoria, British Columbia. Okay, so I'm just stamping this here. Now, I'm using the same color, but um, as you can see, even in the stamp, there's a lot more, um, shall I say texture? Not really sure. You can tell that it's going to be a darker color when you stamp it um, because of the amount, the the design that's in the butterfly. I think these are distinctive stamps. I forgot to look it up in the catalog if it says it in there. It doesn't say it on the case, but I don't know that this the amount of detail and the shading and whatever, like in the flower, even that you can see the shading. I feel like it's distinctive. Okay. And then I'm gonna do two other butterflies. So again, these have um, more showing, more, um, I'm making a background, but my butterflies definitely stand out against all of it. So, okay, so that's it for, oh, I do that every time. Um, that's it for that kind of stamping. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the Stamparatus really quick. So what I want to do, oh, I don't have adhesive. I see one, just a sec. Okay, so I have this little piece of the Balmy Blue Gingham um, cut out with, um, one of the smaller sizes. They don't come this way on this card. I buy this card from Stampin' Storage. Um, this size of the re stitched rectangles dies. Um, I love these so much. They are amazing. I use them all the time. Um, so I used this and I want to stamp on here and so I'm hoping that I can fit on here. Oh, I need to do one thing. Okay. So here's a trick. I'm not sure if you've seen me do this before or not, but here's a trick for when you, <coughs> excuse me, have something that you barely can hang on to with your magnets on the Stamparatus. Um, if, if you've not seen me use this before, you might wanna go look for my other um, videos on YouTube with the Stamparatus, because I'm not gonna show you all the ins and outs of this. But this is an amazing tool, and I'm going to show you an, another way that I like to use it. Um, so this, my stamp is going to be just about the size of this of this piece. So I'm not going to be able to hold on to it very well with my magnets. So what I do is I put adhesive on my scrap that I have on my Stamparatus, and I'm going to put it down there. Plus, I usually try to line it up right in the corner where the Stampin' Up! logo is. So there's no question where I'm at, where I need to go. I am still gonna hold on to this. <clears throat> it helps to slide it off rather than try to lift it. They are so strong. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I need a quick drink. Okay, so I originally stamped this on my sample with just, um, 
normal stamping and then I decided that I wanted it darker. So the way that you set up your Stamparatus is you need it uninked um, or as clean as possible if somebody else just recently did it um, and you don't know the way that they lined it up. So I'm, I put it on my piece right here. I actually want it over just a little bit. So I put it on my piece, I have my magnets down, and then I use my uh, plate to pick it up, okay? Now, when you stamp and you lift it, sometimes that lifts the, the car, cardstock or designer paper or whatever it is that you're using. Um, and so that's why I put a little bit of adhesive there too so it doesn't just lift it up and slide out from underneath the magnets, okay? So, as I mentioned to you, I want this to be nice and dark. Where did I put my pen? And I first did it in blueberry bushel, and it was not dark enough to go against the blue and with all the blues that I had in here. <clears throat> so then I decided I wanted black. So right now I'm using black stays on. I can use stays on because I have red rubber stamps. They're clean. Um, Cling, wood, clear mount, those all are the red rubber. Um, and black stays on is okay on that. If you're using photopolymer, you don't want to use black stays on unless you clean it immediately, excuse me, because it will damage your stamps. Um, okay, so I inked it up and I stamped it. Now I'm going to ink it up again because I want it dark and stamp it. That looks good. I'm going to do it one more time. For some of you, you've been in my um, my clubs this month and I'm using the Silhouette stamp set. Um, and I always like, oh, look at that. Look how nice. You know what? I'm going to have to show you the different. Oh, except it's it's on my card. I don't want to show you the card till I'm done. So I'll show you the difference between stamping this three times and stamping it once on my sample. Okay, so remember I have the adhesive under here? What you can do now is twist it and then it will come off. And I don't have any adhesive on here. I'm out of camera, sorry. Um, I don't have any adhesive on here. And why that matters, it wouldn't matter on this design, but if you were stamping on your card, your full card, and you barely could hold it, and you just wanted to be able to hold this down, I could put adhesive right here, and my whole card base wouldn't have wouldn't have the um, adhesive on it still. So that's why putting it on your scrap paper is better than putting it on here. Okay? All right, done with the Stamparatus. And now, I know this is gonna sound or look or whatever weird, but I want just a little bit of, I want the edge cut off um, the rectangle stitched die, um, just because of where I want it on my card. Okay, so the first thing, or next thing is to do dimensionals. I'm gonna do three of them across here. And then I'm going to put it at the edge of my card here. Okay, so that's why I wanted to cut it off. I, I just, I wanted it to come from the edge of it, okay? Now this isn't quite done yet. I have, this is our denim ribbon. Um, this is from the Dino Roar suite with the cute little dinosaurs. I haven't shown that on camera yet, but I had a, I did my swap for the cruise with it. <clears throat> um, it's a really cute set. So I just wanted something nice and dark to go with it. And then trim my, we don't sell these scissors anymore, but I still use them. These are my ribbon scissors. Trim my ends so they're not all frayed. Oops, not upside down. And here's my card. I'll show you when I have the camera up again too because it the light lighting is better when I show you straight on. 
Okay, so I told you I was going to show you. I'll show you later, too. Um, I don't know if you can see the difference between this one was stamped um, just one time, and this one was inked and stamped three times. So I just wanted it to be nice and dark against this blueberry bushel that I have here. So I always prefer that as nice, dark words. Okay, so I have another really, really easy card. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I again already did my my um, die cutting. This time I used the stitched shapes. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I need a drink again. <clears throat> All right. So stitched shapes. Um, the rectangles. I wrote this down somewhere. The rectangles have. 13 dies in them and they're $35. There's a huge um, a rain, I don't know the word I'm looking for. Lots of differences in sizes. Range of sizes, is that what I was gonna say? This one is stitch shape, so you have the squares, ovals, and circles. Um, there's four sizes of each, so there's 12 in here, and these are $30. And both of these sets I use like crazy. So I just did a square here uh, on my Whisper White. And then also, part of my big shotting, I used the Scripty 3D embossing folder. Um, so it's right here. So I wanted to show this to you really quickly, even though I already did this, because anything... Um, any 3D embossing folder that is a new design, no, that is new, that does not have the Sizzix name here, um, you either need to figure out your shims for correct thickness or you need to buy this, um, 3D embossing plate. Um, this is $10. <coughs> <coughs> And it helps you, um, it helps make up the difference. There is a difference in thickness between the new design of 3D folders and the old design. So, um, so there's that. So I already ran that through. And like I said, my card's going to be really simple. So because the back of it, there's, there's not much, there, there's not tons of texture on the back because it's pretty flat and then the words are just bumped up. Um, I'm just going to use snail. I'm not going to use tear and tape like I sometimes do on my um, what's the word? On my embossed pieces. So I'm going to put this on here. And then I'm going to use the same big butterfly that I used on my last card. I'm just going to stamp them on the square. And then I need dimensionals again. This one comes together really quickly. Especially because I did my, my die cutting and embossing already ahead of time. I just kind of wanted to stick with <clears throat> a simple look. So I have this here. And then the last thing I'm going to do, I think I need a rhinestone too. But I'm going to have to find it. I forgot to grab it. So this is the A Sweet Friendship Refreshes the Soul. Ah, so pretty. Okay, let me see if I can quick find the rhinestone. I don't know where they are. I found some. Sorry. I totally forgot to grab these. And I don't have a tool to help me, so it's just my fingers. And I didn't do my trick. Do you remember my trick to help you? There we go. So the trick is, if you don't have a tool to help you, put it really close and just slide it off into the spot that you want. Okay, and here's my other card. Really simple. 
Okay, so obviously, because I told you this already, um, if you share, you get a chance at this, at winning this. I'm pulling you up now because I'm all done stamping. Sorry, fingers. I'm back. <laughs> all right, and I want to see. See. Oh, I'm glad you love it. Thank you so much. All right, so the lighting is always better when I have you back up. So I'm going to show you these cards again. So here's, maybe not. Got to get them in there. Here's the two cards. I'm showing you the difference between the, the triple stamping and not on the words. And then here's the one I just did. So really simple. Sometimes I like white on white. And so that's what I chose to do. Oh, hi, Dove. I'm glad you're here. <clears throat> Thank you. And since I have you here, I'm going to show you one more. This was one of my swaps that I got um, uh, on the cruise. So this is using the same stamp set, but obviously different colors. Um, and this is that woven. Um, this one is kind of a cool thing. It's not really my style, but I like the concept of it that in this bundle, this is not part of this this um, Butterfly Wishes bundle. But in this bundle, the stamp set comes with this embossing folder to make this frame thing, and then um, the dies to cut the frame. So you get both with that. Thank you, Marilyn, I'm glad you're here. Um, okay, so that is all of my stamping. So remember, if you share and like and comment, um, you'll be entered for my drawing for the two cards that I made today. And I just want to tell you a couple reminders. Where did I put my, where did I put my thing? First of all, um, remember to redeem your bonus codes. Hi, Nancy. I'm glad you're here. <clears throat> remember to redeem your bonus codes that you, bonus days coupon codes that you earned last month. Um, this is the month to redeem them. If you would like me to redeem them for you, um, I have clubs going um, the last Monday and Tuesday of this month. That's the only time I know for sure that I'll be ordering. Um, so make sure that you get me your order and make sure you email me your, forward me your email that you got with the bonus codes if you're wanting me to do it for you. Um, uh, if you've not gotten your codes already, please let me know because you should have gotten them immediately after I placed the order or you placed the order. Um, don't wait. Let me know right away, not the night that you want me to redeem it because I need to call Stampin' Up and sometimes they're closed. Like today, they're closed. It's Innovation Day. Um, I don't know what all they work on. Um, thanks for sharing already, Marsha. Um... And, okay, so make sure that you redeem them. Um, another thing is, um, we have going this month, um, extra, extra. Um, if you sign up to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator this month, um, you get 30 extra dollars of uh, product in your kit. So you pay $99 plus, yes, you can use more than one code per order. There's no limit. You just, you can't. Like, you don't get money back, so you need to make sure that you order enough to use up the codes. Um, and it, um, yeah, that's all I can think of. <clears throat> so, all of them, you can copy and paste the block of codes. Like, I, I know in one email you have more than one code in that. Um, you can copy and paste that. If you have another one, you can copy and paste um, that other one. They all can just be put in the same thing. Um, okay. So, $99 plus tax, no shipping is charged for um, a starter kit. That's, I love that's an amazing deal. So that's already a 10% um, savings. And um, you get $155 worth of product that you can choose in your kit. It has to be less. It's not like Hostess Rewards where you can go over and pay the difference. You have to be $155 or less. And um, besides that, you'll also get a $10 coupon code um, kind of like what the um, bonus days codes were. Um, so you'll get a coupon code um, for $10 off your next order. Um, I think it's for the next month. I don't I don't remember that part of the detail. Um, anyway, so that's going on through the end of this month. So you can join my Dazzling Demos team. And next week, 
we have the opportunity to register for our onstage event, which is in Lansing this time. I am so excited that it's so close this time. Um, so you don't have to like be a certain title or whatever. You can go to onstage, just have to register um, and obviously pay their, pay the fee for that. Okay, two more events. One is Craft the Night Away. It's um, not this Saturday. It's two Saturdays away, I think. Or not this Saturday, next Saturday, the 24th. 6.30 to 10, no, to 11.30 um, at the homeschool building. Let me know if you want to come. It's a fun night, and you just get together and do our stamping and chatting and eating and all that. The other thing is, I announced last week... You two, you're excited. Are you going, Debbie? That would be cool to meet you. Um, um, I announced last week that we're having a fall one day crafting retreat. Excuse me, it is going to be on September 21 from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. I'm so excited for this. I hope you guys all sign up. Um, we are gonna have goodie bags. Yes, it is. We're going to have goodie bags and pillow gifts and lunch and supper unless you choose to do your own, bring your own, or go get your own. Um, and uh, we're going to have stamping. And um, anyway, you have to register by September 1. And registration includes paying for it. So um, we need to know what we need to order and whatever so it's a day the retreat is a day for you to bring your own projects and work on them but also we're providing stamping and some optional classes that you can sign up for ahead of time as well so um you can go to my website dazzlebystamping.com i have it i have it um what's the word i'll say pinned at the top so if you go to that page that's the first thing that you see so you can go there and find it out also i probably invited all of you people to um to the event on my um on my facebook event i tried anyway <laughs> um so anyway that's what is going on and i'm so excited for those so does anybody have any questions or comments or whatever that i've not seen that you want me to see or say or whatever um i know it takes a minute to to write them but um, that's all that I have for you, and so I will let you go so that you can go on with your day, finish your coffee if you haven't done it already, <laughs> and have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for joining me. I have so much fun with you. Uh, I will see you next week. Bye!